my channel. Today it's Sunday night. It is 5.30. I just thought last week I didn't really have any good lunches or breakfast made for the week. And I could really tell because I wasn't eating properly and then I was like binging food when I got home. It just wasn't healthy. So I thought today we'd do a bit of a meal prep series. I'm going to make some breakfast, some snacks, some lunches. Just get ready for the week. I really hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe down below. And let's get started. Hey Google, play Folklore by Taylor Swift. Playing the album Folklore on Spotify. One thing I'm deciding to start doing is just meal prepping food. So doing food prepping rather than doing meal prep. Because I find that by like Wednesday I'm really sick of eating the same food every day. So I like being able to just have some really good ingredients, have them ready in the fridge and then I can grab them when I want. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to roast some sweet potato and some pumpkin. These are just really good foods to roast. I love how they absorb flavours. I really like these vegetables because they're super easy to eat and they're so wintry. So I'm just going to chop these up into little cubes now. One of my tips for cooking pumpkin and sweet potato is I always put some cinnamon on, which might seem a bit weird considering the flavor combination I've already got going with the salt, pepper, and paprika. But cinnamon really brings out the sweetness in it. It hits every single flavor preference that you like and it tastes amazing. So if you haven't tried this before, highly recommend. So since the oven's already going, I thought it would be a really good time to make some breakfast and little snacky items. One thing I always struggle with is at work, we have a lolly jar. If I'm snacky, I'll just gravitate towards grabbing things out of the lolly jar when that's definitely not the healthiest option for me and it's not really what I want to put into my body. So today I'm going to focus on making items that I know are very healthy for me that can sustain me while also keeping away from those nasties that I don't want to talk about. So I'm going to make some healthy gluten-free banana blueberry chocolate muffins. It's a bit of a mouthful, but I just promise it'll all make sense once you get it all started. I'm going to blitz up a bruised banana and a frozen banana because that's all the bananas I have in my house that are ready to cook with. And I'm not following a recipe for this. I'm just kind of making it up. So if it doesn't work, you'll see later and maybe just don't follow my recipe. And then in my little blender, I'm using this tiny one because we don't have a full size blender and this just works really well. I'm just going to add in two eggs and then I'm just going to blitz that until it's more of a smooth consistency. There we go. So it's become like a very smooth banana consistency. In my dry bowl, I'm going to add in a cup of oat, protein powder. This is just the leftovers of what I have in my house. It is chocolate because I don't really like the taste of banana, so I'm trying to mask it. I'm going to add in two scoops of this protein powder. I'm going to add in a third of a cup of cocoa. And then I'm going to add in a fourth cup of erythritol. This is definitely not essential, and to be honest, I've never cooked with erythritol before something new that my naturopath recommended to me as a sugar substitute while I'm trying to balance my hormones. Just before I go on, I just want to say, please make sure you're being careful with any ingredients you put into your body. I'm only using these things because they've been recommended to me and I'm trusting the guidance of professionals. But if you haven't seen a doctor, please don't go out and buy a whole bunch of different weird health foods. Make sure you're getting the right nutrients for your body because everyone's body is different. This is just what happens to work for mine. Now that the dry stuff is all in there, I'm just going to take a metal spoon and mix that around. Okay, so you can see that looks much more like some chocolate oats. So now I'm going to pour in my banana and egg mixture. That looks pretty muffin-like to me. A little bit stringier because it's eggs and banana. It's not like butter and milk, but it looks pretty good to me. Just to make sure this rises and doesn't turn too gooey, I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. So now, in my lined baking tray, I'm just going to pour the mixture in. I'm just going to pop this in the oven. I'm not really sure how long it'll bake for, so I'll pop a little thing here telling you how long it's in the oven for, and then you'll see it when it pops out. So while all my items are in the oven, I'm going to do one last before I head on to my best tip for meal and food prepping. I've got a pot of water on the stove at the moment and it's just bringing to a boil. So all I'm going to do is add a little bit of salt. When that's boiled, I'm just going to add in my chicken breast. So this definitely isn't a vegan, vegetarian meal. I was actually vegetarian for five years, but I got really sick and I was very, very sick at the end. And that's all my fault. It's not because of the lack of meat. It was just the lack of food in my diet. So I have been scared to allow myself to go back to that spot. I do have meatless food quite often, but not as often 
as I would like to so we'll get back there one day but for the moment I'm just going to poach some chicken so I can have some shredded chicken in the fridge ready for my meals. While I'm food prepping, my best tip ever in the kitchen is to clean as you go. This is definitely something I'm not very good at, so do as I say, not what I do. When I'm normally cooking dinner, I'm definitely not very clean and things just go everywhere and then Sam can clean it when I'm done, which is not very nice of me and I'm trying to get better. So I'm gonna set you down and I'm gonna get rid of all the dishes and start washing the new dishes that I've made so that when we're finished, there's a clean kitchen as well and we don't have to stress about anything. So I'm gonna pop you down. I'm gonna turn up my music so I can listen to Taylor Swift's new album and we are gonna get cleaning. Okay, so the chicken's all done now, so now I'm gonna start on my vegetable, vegetable? Now I'm gonna start on my vegetable fried rice. So in the same pan, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil. I'm gonna start by adding some little cubes of zucchini. I always add my zucchini first because I don't really like zucchini, <laughs> funnily enough. So if it's in there first and it cooks down more, I can eat it without feeling sick. I'm also adding in some bell pepper or capsicum as we call it in Australia. And now I'm gonna add in some diced carrot and just keep cooking that up. One tip I always have for meal prep is not to cook your food 100% of the way because then when you reheat the food, it's gonna be overcooked and soggy and that's not very nice. So here I've just got a whole bowl of rice cauliflower, it's really just like blended cauliflower. So I'm just going to add that in a little bit at a time, mix it around and then add a bit more so it's not overloading the pan. So now that all the rice cauliflower is in, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my soy sauce. I would really love to use coconut aminos, but I just haven't found them in Australia yet. So I'm just adding in some soy sauce, mixing that around. And then that's pretty much it for my fried cauliflower rice. Super simple, but super delicious. And you can really put anything with it, which is what I really appreciate. So the last thing I'm going to make is some turkey burgers, which are my favorite. I love turkey. I think it's a great meat. So all I'm gonna do is in the same bowl I had my cauliflower in because I can't be bothered to clean another bowl. So we're just gonna use the same bowl. I'm going to add in 500 grams of turkey mints, crumble in some feta that we have in our fridge. Add that in. I'll add in another fork of garlic. And yes, I'm using forks. Um, I don't really know why. And then I'm going to start to mix that with my hands and then I'm going to add one egg in just to be a binding agent. Whoa, that was a double yolk egg. Oh, I can't show, oh, you can see it just there. Wow. And then just to add a bit more substance, I'm just going to add some almond meal, probably just a quarter of a cup, just to soak up all that extra moisture and give it a bit more bite to it. So all of the baking is now done for the week. I've got some delicious meal options and I can dress these all up with different dressings and different snacks. I'm really happy I got all of this out of the way and my meal is gonna be so easy now. guys the next day I just thought I would show you what I'm going to be packing for my lunch today so I'm going to take my bulk food um, stainless steel tin I really like this it's so good for compacting your food so I've got a big tray a smaller tray and a snack tray here for my main lunch I'm going to take some of the cauliflower rice as well as some roast veggies I just popped two turkey patties on top of that as well. I'm just gonna pack some of my banana chocolate slice. I can have that for a sweet treat. And that's about it. That is everything I'm taking to work from my food prep for today. And I'm sure I'll have a real good variety of meals for the next week. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed. That really supports my channel. And I'm just having a lot of fun doing this. So I'd love to keep doing it. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.